Hey everyone, it's Brittany Sullivan with the Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're at the Actors Fund's Tony viewing party. Hello, Hi. how are so you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Brittany. Hi, Brittany. I absolutely love your eye makeup, by the way. Thank it's you. On point. It's beautiful. Thank you. I spent more time on that than the hair, but don't did tell me. You me. did it yourself? Oh, yes. <laughs> Sometimes it's the only way you can do it, you know? So, right? No, I'm very particular. Like, I'll go back and I'll fix it myself. You know? Thank you. I was thinking of doing a little pin up y thing tonight. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Oh, you're nailing it. Thank you. But enough about me. I've heard that you have some amazing impressions impressions with the different divas. Who would be your favorite diva that you can impersonate? Uh, I, tonight, because we're sort of blending the stage and screen and Hollywood meets New York, immediately coming to mind is, you know, uh, Bernadette Peters. Hello, uh, Bernadette Peters. She has that great legacy. Uh, yes. Same thing for, for Kristen Chenoweth. Mm -hmm. You know, she's won a Tony. She's won an Emmy. She's bi-coastal. And we just love her. She's so popular. We love her. Um, but, you know, I think I think it's it's what's wonderful about this event is that there, it brings so many people together because mm -hmm. the Actors Fund is not just about actors, it's about mm -hmm. every single person in the entertainment community. And it, it sounds a little cheesy, but it really is a family. Yeah. And so to see everybody together and to see the West Coast be as excited about the Tonys as the right? East Coast, because I'm a New Yorker, I feel like it's only for us sometimes. Yeah, you know, so. there you go. I knew I liked you. <laughs> uh, but so it, it makes it all really special. Yeah, it really does. So, um, who do you think, you know, like what, what tonight is going to be like the most important moment for you? Ooh. Well, I mean, Lily Tomlin, uh, to be in the I mean, same, to be in the same yes. room as Lily Tomlin is yes. a big thing. I mean, the Tonys are very exciting, mm -hmm. but this event in particular, honoring Lily, it, it's perfect. She, she's an incredible uh, actress and comedian. Yes. It's just, she's paved the way for so many others. I mean, everybody, I think in some way has been influenced by what she's done. When I was little, I used to quote yes. all of her bits and, and uh, Nine to you know, five. Try, trying not yeah. to do too much of it tonight because you don't want to go, that's the truth, in front of every person like you and spit yeah. on you because that's not really classy. It's not really red carpet perfect. chic. But um, oh. it's immediately what I think of. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone like that who, ha who has had a career that can uh, touch my grandparents, my parents, yes. and me, and people younger than me now mm -hmm. watching Grace and Grayson Frankie and all that. It's, mm -hmm. it's just, it just tells how, how fabulous uh, she is and, and how much she can connect to different generations. Exactly. Yeah, so I, I'm excited about that. Right? So, okay, what do you think is going to be, um, if you could pick any performance, I know you picked the Divas, what would be your greatest and favorite performance you've participated in thus far in your career? Me? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Of course. <laughs> uh, my, well, you know, um, I have been lucky to be on a few television shows and sing mm -hmm. on the Ellen DeGeneres show and the Today Show and all that. But mine's going to have to be in good old New York. In good old New York. Aww. I think when I made my debut mm -hmm. off Broadway yeah. in, in Forbidden Broadway, the show that I had listened mm -hmm. to and loved so much as, as a little kid growing up, to be in that show that I had all the cast albums of. Every year there's a new album. And yeah. To be a part of that and set foot on that stage and knew that I was getting to do something that I'd always dreamed about, mm -hmm. that was my favorite. So the op opening of Forbidden Broadway in New York and then yeah. the other one would be the opening of Forbidden Broadway in the West End, mm -hmm. too, because it was like, what? Right? London? How did this even happen? It's but amazing. that's the thing, you know, you, you, it's not always about people wanting to be huge, you know, celebrity. We all, trust me, we all want to be in the movies yeah. and have people adore us and all that, but we wouldn't do it if we didn't love the work and we didn't want to just do what we love every day. Exactly. And so, yeah, for me, I think it's going to be that, that little off-Broadway house in New York. That's, That's my awesome. favorite moment. So speaking of coming from New York, I mean, I'm also a fellow East Coaster here. Yes. It's a long journey. What advice would you give to people who are trying to make their way across the continent now to make their way over and to uh, make it work? Yeah. You know, What's the best advice? It's all about taking a chance, particularly in this, in this business. You only get somewhere by trying. Lots of people are going to tell you no, so you have to be prepared to not listen to that and make your own choices and make your own rules. Mm -hmm. I would have, I think half of the opportunities I have, if I didn't see a little window of opportunity and go, well, let me let me pursue that, let me explore mm -hmm. that. And it's so easy yes. in this day yeah. and age, the way it, compared to the way it was, because mm -hmm. you can make your own Instagram, YouTube, music, you can do all your own content and create and stay active and stay present. And we didn't have those opportunities in the past. So I think there's really no excuse, is there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Thank you so much for chatting with me. I you look you. beautiful. Enjoy the night. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Me. Yeah, of course.